with more Barnstable this morning. I'm Sarah Colvin. Of course, as we continue to keep an eye on the weather and uh, Hurricane Joaquin that is tracking up the East Coast uh, today, I welcome Peter Judge, the Public Information Officer for the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency, to fill us in on what is the latest. Uh, Peter, good morning and welcome to Barnstable this morning. Good morning again, Sarah. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. So, Peter, uh, from your perspective, what are you hearing uh, in, in terms of the latest reports on uh, this hurricane? Well, the, the latest reports remain encouraging. Uh, we have uh, easterly trends of the projection of the path of the storm. Uh, that being said, again, their projected path of the storm. So uh, until we get a little closer uh, to, you know, uh, the weekend or even the beginning of next week, we won't know for sure, but we're very encouraged. And uh, according to the National Weather Service, a report that I read earlier this morning, this is one that came out yesterday, it said that it, it looks like um, by the time it gets up here early next week, it's going to be a tropical storm and pretty far off the coast. Right. But that being said, uh, it looks like it could be a pretty wide storm as well. So uh, even though the storm itself, the eye that we all tend to look at, uh, the storm itself is gonna, probably going to have some impacts, particularly out on the coast and, uh, you know, the Cape and the islands, because uh, those seas are still going to be churned up pretty well. So uh, at this point, it's a little hard to tell how impactful, but I would not be surprised if we ha see some sort of uh, coastal flooding issues, hopefully minor in nature, but nonetheless, it's something we must keep our eye on, even if, uh, you know, we have a real legitimate miss of the storm. Sure, Peter. So what, uh, what right now is MEMA doing? to prepare? Well, uh, all week we've been having conference calls with National Weather Service and, uh, and other key agencies, but yesterday we brought in about 40 or 50 folks from uh, various agencies, about 40 or 50 agencies actually, uh, from around state, local, uh, uh, volunteer agencies, and we basically have nailed down our plans for the for the potential storm and we had folks in here dealing with everything from the Cape Cod traffic plan to mass care sheltering staging areas search and rescue power restoration uh, you know donations and in, in, uh, uh, volunteers so basically any area that local communities would need some assistance if in fact to get hit with a, a serious storm. So in that regard, we feel we're going to be in pretty good shape. And the very, I guess, worst case scenario is the storm misses us, but we've had a real good preparedness exercise out of this. Absolutely. And it is always good, uh, Peter, to be prepared. So coastal flooding, obviously, uh, here on the Cape, uh, certainly a concern. Uh, any recommendations that you have for our residents, anything that we should be doing uh, to kind of gear up for uh, any impending weather? Well, the, the coastal flooding issue is, is actually something that's going on a little bit right now uh, in an unrelated storm so to speak uh, the weather we've had because of these astronomically high tides in in, in through the weekend um, we're seeing spots that have experienced some uh, some flooding and also uh, some additional strong winds and rain so it's not quite a, a major storm but uh, uh, sort of prepare us for a storm so uh, the usual uh, the things we're asking people to do is continue to monitor you know this storm in uh, if you're someone who lives along the coast and you're seeing where these winds are picking up a little bit, it's a good idea to look at around your uh, your home. Are there any uh, uh, trees or branches that uh, could be trimmed back? Uh, do you have your gutters kind of cleaned out in case we do get uh, you know a lot of rain associated with with this uh, system once it does come up the coast? And also look around your yard. Are there any things that uh, become missiles if in fact we do end up with uh, you know, even gale force uh, gusts out? there, whether it's, uh, you know, kids' toys or lawn furniture, uh, that tool shed that maybe has to be uh, anchored down or secured a little bit better. So just sort of basic things. And also, if you're in an area that maybe is susceptible to some sort of flooding, uh, even minor flooding, not a bad idea to take a look down your basement. Are there things that you might want to elevate uh, that you'd be concerned even with a couple of inches of water in your basement that could uh, be ruined? So uh, just sort of preliminary basic steps that people, uh, easy steps, and uh, I guess the nice things about these storms is you get plenty of warning, so uh, take advantage of the time. Excellent. Peter, thank you so much for joining us here on Barnstable this morning. I really appreciate it, and um, might have to check in with you again next week, uh, but we always appreciate uh, you taking the time to join us here on the show. Nothing personally, but I hope we don't have to check in at all. Okay? <laughs> oh, me too. All right. Thank you okay. so much. You have a safe weekend. You now. too. You take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peter Judge, of course, a public information officer for the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency, heading right now into our arts and culture.